Sit down, Mr. Boxley. I can't go on. It's a waste of time. Why? You stuck me with two hacks. They can't write, and they bugger up everything I write. Well, why don't you just write it yourself? I have. I sent you some. That was just talk. We'd lose the audience. Talk? Mm hmm I don't think you people read things. The men... The men are dueling when this conversation takes place. At the end, one of them falls into a well and has to be hauled up in, in a bucket. Would you write that in a book of your own? Well, of course I wouldn't. I inherited this absurd situation. Let me ask you. Do you ever go to the movies? Rarely. Because people are always dueling and falling down wells. And talking a load of rubbish? Listen. Has your office got a stove in it that lights with a match? I think so. Suppose you're in your office. You've been fighting duels all day. You're exhausted. This is you. A girl comes in. takes off her gloves. She opens a purse. She dumps it out on the table. You watch it. This is you. Now. She has two dimes, a matchbox, and a nickel. She leaves the nickel on the table. She puts the two dimes back into her purse. She takes the gloves, they're black, puts them into the stove, lights a match. Suddenly, the telephone rings. She picks it up. She listens. She says, I've never owned a pair of black gloves in my life. Hangs up, feels by the stove. Lights another match. Suddenly, you notice. There's another man in the room. Watching every move the girl makes. I don't know. I was just making pictures. What was the nickel for? Jane, what was the nickel for? The nickel was for the movies. What do you pay me for? I don't understand the damn stuff. Yes, you do. Or you wouldn't have asked about the nickel. 